All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And in this lesson, since we have all of our passes outside of ZBrush, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and composite those images back together so that you can go ahead and present those images um, for whatever purposes that you have. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm just going to open the folder that we simply exported our images out to, and you can see that we have all of our passes for pose one and we also have all of our passes here for pose two so I'm just going to go ahead and drag these into Photoshop real quick and let me go ahead and just drag them in here so you can see where they come in and they quickly load okay so let's take a look here at our BP rent BPR render okay this is the image that we've come out with um, for just our standard BPR render and you can see notice that I just double click to unlock the layer zero uh, I'm not necessarily going to worry about renaming this layer or any of these perspective layers simply because we're just going to composite these back together fairly quickly and then just eventually merge them okay so I'm not too concerned about that and we also don't have you know 30 different passes here they're all pretty much standard and straightforward okay so let's go over here and click on our shadow PSD I'm just gonna hit control A to select the everything that's in here hit control C to copy that we'll come back over to our regular BPR render hit control V to paste that in and let's go ahead and close our shadow pass Let's grab our ambient occlusion pass the same way. Control A, Control C to copy it, Control V to post it in. We'll go ahead and turn that layer off. Go ahead and close that image. Go ahead and grab our depth pass here. Hit Control A, Control C, Control V to paste that in. We'll go ahead and turn that off. And we'll go ahead and close that image. Okay. In our masking channel, we're going to go ahead and hit Control A. Control C, we'll jump back over to our BPR render. We'll switch over to our channels tab here. We'll come down here and create a new channel, which is going to be our alpha channel. Hit Control V to paste that in. Just making sure that we turn back on all of our channels. Okay, go back over to our layers. Just click in there so that we can get rid of that marching ants come down here to our layer one which is our shadow pass here we're going to turn this to multiply and we're just going to turn the amount down here for the opacity until you get something that you um, just basically until you get something that you like same thing here with the ambient occlusion pass we're going to come down here to multiply we're just going to turn this down to an amount that uh, I'd be happy with our depth pass okay I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this down once I also put this on multiply okay I'm gonna with the top one selected hold down shift and select the bottom one so it selects all of them hit control E so it merges all of those layers okay I'm gonna go ahead and close that masking image select our channels and I'm gonna hold down control and select that alpha one okay so it's just going to select just the fish okay go ahead and create a new image um, change this to 2300 uh, by 1250 okay just so that we can get um, at least of a, a large enough image so that we can bring both of these images that we're going to be using onto one specific palette here okay so I'm just going to go ahead and drag him over making sure that he is going to fit um, along with the other fish image that we're going to go ahead and bring over so we can go ahead and close this okay I'm going to take our other pose here and basically just repeat the same process here okay so I'm not going to discuss what I'm doing here but I'll, I'll walk through for the most part okay so this is our untitled image this is going to be our official final image so I'm just gonna go ahead and move that off screen real quick we'll take our shadow control a control C 
paste this into our image. Let me go ahead and unlock our background here. I'll just simply turn that off. Okay, we'll take our ambient occlusion, control A, control C, control V to paste it again. Go ahead and turn that one off. Our depth pass, control A, control C, control V to paste it. Okay. We're also going to take our mask here, control A, control C, jump back to our BPR render, jump into our channels tab. We're going to go ahead and create a new channel, throw that in there for our alpha channel. Just make sure that we turn on our RGB back. Okay. Go ahead and close all these other images since we don't need them now. Okay. Go ahead and close our shadow pass here. Just make sure that we get rid of those marching ants. We'll go ahead and turn on our shadow pass. We'll multiply that. Okay. Go ahead and just turn this down to an amount that I'm happy with. Same thing with our ambient occlusion pass. We'll multiply it. Okay, go ahead and just turn that down. Our depth pass. Go ahead and just turn this down to an amount that we're going to be happy with here. Okay, we'll go ahead and shift select all these. Control E to merge them. Select our channels. Just control select our alpha. And let me go ahead and bring this image back just so that you guys can see what I'm going to go ahead and grab here. Okay. Just grab our move tool so we can drag this over. Okay, so now you can see that we have both fish into one image. I can go ahead and close this if needed. Okay. And you can see that we have two different layers. One is our side fish. I just want to move him down a little bit. Layer two, which is our front fish. I'm just trying to line him up properly here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer here. This is going to be the background. Okay, so I'm just going to come up here to edit, fill. And I just want to make sure that I grab a color. And I'm just going to use this gray material. Okay, so here is our, our image basically comp back together. So I'm just going to go ahead and shift select all three of these. Hit control E to merge those again. I'll just come up here to image, image size, and I'm just going to size these up to an image size that I typically use, okay, which is 3250. So now you can see where we get all these details really merged um, and really showing off the entire image detail and everything that's with inside the model. Um, and that's a process that I use inside of Photoshop for compositing my images back together from ZBrush. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to do gray renders uh, inside of Maya using V-Ray. Now, um, we probably won't be covering Mental Ray, um, but when we go ahead and do the, the actual V-Ray renders for a gray model, um, Compositing those images and actually running those images is going to be a little bit easier. So um, come on back and I'll show you how we can go ahead and do that.